What is going on guys? It is Industrial Games here. Back again with another video. And I'm here with another NBA Infinite video here on my channel. And yeah, um, you guys know Season 2 is literally right around the corner. The time I'm recording this, we are three, uh, three official days off from the new season, guys. Three official days. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just super excited. Um, if you guys did not know... Uh, the NBA Infinite official Twitter, they on Twitter and on Instagram, they did post a sneak peek on um out of of season two, guys. If you guys haven't seen it, um, it is pretty much a season two. It is like a new court, a new black and gold court. I'll go ahead and throw a picture on the screen for you guys to see it. Um, but yeah, they did pretty much do a sneak peek on that, and yeah, which I'm super excited about. I mean, I cannot wait, guys, for season two. I mean, hopefully, we have a ton of new content because right now the game is kind of kind of dry i'll be honest um there's really not much to do right now this is why i'm making a video on why on my season two wish list guys my season two wish list i'm making an official video here on my my wish list what i want what i think they should add and hopefully that they add it you know for season two but yeah starting off here i'm gonna start off with the obvious one is to add new players um add the three to five to new ones just add new players um there's a lot of new really good players right now currently in nba that think that should be added you know, you got players like Jalen Brunson, um, Anthony Edwards should be added. Um, I can I can name a whole ton of different new ones, guys. But those are just two examples of people have like been asking for those cards. They've been asking for Brunson and Edwards for a very long time now, and adding them um, would be nice. Adding like three, just adding three new players for the new season, or even to, up to five if you wanted to take it to that level, would be very good. Um, I love a lot of people, I want I iconic people like Larry Bird, Jordan, Kobe. Um, I think they'll be later on in the very future, not right now, but I think just adding more current new players, like I said, like Brunson or Edwards would be very good, but that's just the obvious one to add that, and yeah, there's my first wish. Um, my second one is to add more events. I believe this game, um, they should add more events. You know, I know we had that St. Patrick's Day where we had that um, that uniform and everything, and it was pretty cool. It was, I think it was only for like three to four days, though. It wasn't that too long um, where you grind it and grab the uniform, you could wear it. Um, I personally didn't use them, but I know a lot of people did use them. It was pretty cool, though. Pretty good concept. But I think they should add more events. Like, just add more events in general, guys. For you to grind, maybe get extra gold, diamonds, um, maybe get, like, a card or something. Um, I, I guess, no, I am. I did come from NBA Line Mobile. I did play NBA Line Mobile for literally, like, two years. And I did play that game a lot. And they do they, have, they do have a lot of promos, guys. They have they have content. I know the game is literally for NBA Line Mobile is the same thing over and over. But they do add content, guys. Every week, they have new promos, new events where you can grind. And they have trade sets and everything. So, if NBA Infinite could do that, like, add, like, certain trade sets. For example, you need, like, let's say there's a, there's a legendary Jalen Brunson. Let's say you need two legendary Currys or, like, one legendary Tatum and, like, a rookie LeBron. Um, doing that and then you can get them. That would be nice. Just adds more, more variety to the game for you to grind. I think that's... They should definitely do that. Uh, my third wish is to a, is to have the ability to buy courts and use your own court um obviously that new court that they are going to add is like a sneak peek that they did um the court looks cool but i think if you can buy in the store if you had courts where you can buy more um and put your own court like do you have your own court maybe like a a neon lighted up court or something like that um something cool like that you know just something different guys something different maybe like a court like you're in venice beach or something um that would be cool that'd be really good if they can do that where you can customize your own court i think they should definitely do that it would add more more fun and more variety to the game and make the game feel feel fresh again my fourth wish i think that should definitely be fixed is the long queue times so you guys do know i literally been i've queued one time guys for nine minutes i've yesterday i was trying to play a game i lasted nine minutes for queue time i think the queue time right now are not good because everybody's waiting for the new season that's what i'm guessing but the queue times 100 percent should be fixed I think it will definitely be fixed for sure, though. But the queue times is 100% an issue right now. I think it should definitely be, be, be fixed for sure. And this other wish that I have that I think a lot of people will 100% agree is to release all the rare cards. Like, if you take a look here, all these cards that, that like, they're just not in. Like, this Kevin Durant is not available. I believe if you guys just, if NBA Infinite can just make these cards available, guys. I don't know why they're not making it available. Why they're making it rare. You, like, you literally have to pre-order. There's so many people that play this game because they want their favorite player like if their favorite player is Kyrie how are they gonna get him the only way for you to get him is to pre-order right now guys you can't even buy these players with real money you can't 
Um, like I am a big, obviously a big Celtics fan. I've really been wanting to try Jalen Brown, but I can't. I have to pre-order. I've tried pre-order him, and he he's not available, guys. He's not. If they can just make all the players available, um, a lot easier to get, it'll be fun. It just add more more fun to the game. More different. You can try different cards. If they do that, I think a lot of people will agree and they will like that for sure, though. And this other wish I have is to add more rewards for three three ranked. Uh, if you take a look here at the rewards in three three ranked. Uh, yeah, you take a look here. All these, there's a ton of different rewards. But once you hit Hall of Fame, five star, there's really not much you you're really playing for. There's no more rewards. Like, there's really just not more rewards. Um, if you take a look here at the leaderboard. I feel like, like you can see, I'm currently 183. But I believe if you hit like a, maybe like a top 200 by the end of the season, you get rewards, or even just like reaching like a top 15 or a top 50, like reaching it at that specific time. I believe you should get more rewards. Like, like I'm 183 out of the whole na uh, server and i'm literally not going to get any rewards guys. there's no rewards for me to get so i believe if they just had more rewards that'll be that'll be nice you know it'd be more it would add more to the game more more excitement for you to grind um yeah more rewards for the read the rank i think it's it is a must for sure and this other wish is make it easier to get gold you know how hard how hard it is to really get gold it is insanely hard to get gold i mean the only way to get gold is obviously if you get cards and sell them, this other, I forgot what was the, what was the other, I cannot think, but I think it was, uh, I think it was Hoop Draft. I, I think I was, it was another one where it was pretty cheap. It was pretty much like a guaranteed epic if you spend like a couple of diamonds. I forgot what it's called, but they did take it out of the game. I think if they add that back, um, that would be a lot of fun. And just maybe do like achievements or something where it gives you gold challenges or something. Make it easier to get gold because it is insanely hard to get gold, guys. It is insanely hard. To get gold this game is pretty it's pretty pricey to get cards like like if you take a look here at my tatum he is worth 71 million gold obviously i had to spend real money like a good amount of amount of money to even get this um this rank two lebron as well uh like a free to play player is not going to get a max rank tatum let's be honest it will take them um, a lot of months just to get a max rank tatum so i think if they had made it easier to get gold it'll be a lot better and this other wish that i think is a very interesting very interesting concept i think is when you are in a queue I think you should be able to make it ability for you to practice. Like, let's say, for example, you're queuing up. And while you're queuing up, let's say you get like a two minute queue. They should make it the option where you can practice alone, like like practice and just shoot shots randomly. Like if you like if you were in training camp, you know, I think that'd be a very good, very good concept to do. Um, instead of just sitting there waiting and doing nothing, make it where you can practice, you know, maybe warm up more, shoot some shots with your cards. You know, that'd be a great, great idea. I think that is 100% um, really good idea to add to NBA Infinite. Like I said, just adding more new stuff to the game, making the game feel fresh again, making the game feel new is, I think what NBA Infinite is right now lacking. And the final, final wish that I wish that they hope they add guys is to add test tournaments for this upcoming season. Um, just adding tournaments. Um, I'm not sure if NBA Infinite is gonna want esports in this game, but if they just add test tournaments, you know, maybe just try test tournaments try a couple of them like you know we're add them officially into the game at a specific time let's say it starts at five five to seven and you play or something like that play like two hours or just maybe you know a couple games or so just try them out test add the test tournaments to see how it goes out and if it goes well then mb infinite officially on the later future of the game they decide to add real tournaments with real. but i think adding test tournaments is it's a good idea obviously you're not going to want to add tournaments already with money that's why i said adding test tournaments for the later future to prepare on for the game would be it would be very good i mean but that is my wish list guys right there i mean let me know down in the comments what do you guys think of this wish list um i think it's a very solid wish list um but once like i said i'm on my grind been uploading videos a lot lately once season two drops 100 percent will be grinding even more of this but yeah guys other than that this and wrap it up hope you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i am out guys peace